Well, it's day two of a little spring cleaning here on the stream. And yesterday we talked about motivating yourself to clean the house and how great it will make you feel. I need to do that. Just a little yeah. bit of organizing, getting rid of things. Today it's going to make you feel great and make you even a little money doing it. So that's always a good combo. Our friend of the stream, Tabina Khan, president of House of Khan Estate Jewelers, back with us here on the stream. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me again. So good to have you. So one of the things when you clean out your house is you don't want to just throw away your things, especially if they're of value. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't even know no, you what don't. could be valuable. So let's talk about that. How, what's the starting point if you're going in your closet. So go into your drawers, uh, jewelry boxes that you have in your in your closet and look through jewelry that you maybe haven't used or worn for a year or two years or so. And what I really want people to understand is there's value in things just because you don't wear it. Gold is very high now. Three weeks ago it was almost 2,500 an ounce. Ooh. So it, these things, these items are bringing value. Keep in mind, you know, the baby boomers, generation X, Y, and Z are inheriting all these jewelry that's being passed down. And, you know, the young people are like, well, what do I do with it? Right. So, yeah, like someone's looking and they look in their mom's old something and they find this 18 carat dragon brooch, right? You've got that as being 18 carat. Yes. So what's this going to go for? So that is worth, depending, keep, uh, 18 karat gold is 77% pure gold, 18 mm -hmm. karat. So most of the gold that you see is 14 karat, 18 karat, 22 karat. That is worth, if someone were to come in to bring that into us, that's worth about, uh, what was the tag on that? Let's see. That's worth about $12,000. Wow, so never would have thought. I, I that, Holy cow, that. it's and like a psycho little reindeer. I know that. <laughs> Wait, Audrina, put this on if you can. Try this on. And this is a fancy yellow diamond we'll absolutely ring. Absolutely put this and on. I think it's a perfect fit. It's perfect. It's yeah. perfect. Oh my God, you look like sunshine in this ring. Oh, well, you look like so sunshine. Much. It really makes you glow. Well, oh, thank you. Thank you. I love it. It's beautiful. So let's talk about this. So if you find something in your closet and you're like, okay, I go in my jewelry drawer, I go in my jewelry case, and I find something that I just haven't worn in a year or two, what's the first step in determining if, if it's something that you could maybe really resell mm -hmm. or consign? Absolutely, excellent question. So what we suggest is for people to call us, make an appointment. I'm a gemologist, so I will go through every single item to tell you what it is that you have. Not everything yellow is going to be gold. If it's 14 karat, 18 karat, 22 karat, we will check for hallmarks, if it's French hallmarks, and so try to find the value, and then they can make a decision well, should I keep it or if it's sentimental? And and this is, you know, uh, um, really what I want people to understand. I don't encourage, if it's sentimental, I encourage to keep it. If, it, yeah. if it's sentimental that this remembers your loved one. But, you know, people nowadays are inheriting so many items mm -hmm. that, you know. Because it's generation. It's one generation. One generation Yeah, two X, Y, and Z is, is yeah. inheriting all these items. So, for example, these pocket watches. I mean, I they're beautiful. Yeah. But guess what? Siri and Alexa is not in there. Right. <laughs> you, you know yeah. what I mean? And, and, you hey, and you don't need four of them. Right, exactly. You know? And this was a gentleman who sold it. She, he kept about four or five of them and he sold the rest to us. So these are 14 karat, but you know, they're Siri gorgeous. and Alexa, I mean, they might not be smartphone, but they're full with gold and they have value. They're worth about, you know, anywhere between 800 and 2000, depending on the type of maker wow. of the pocket watch. That's so great. that's found money. Yeah, definitely. All right. Yeah. We've got to go one last 15 second final tip for people as they do spring cleaning of their jewelry. So go through your items and check to see. Don't feel that, you know, oh, if it's sentimental, I don't want to sell it. In this case here, the one sunshine that you're wearing, that you wore, you know, this paid for a down payment for a house wow. for someone. That's good. So they remembered their loved one, their grandmother, every time they turned the key, they said, gee, I sold this yeah. diamond ring, I didn't wear it, and I used it for something really... Like a living legacy. Right, right. Yeah. All right, we definitely have to go now. Head of House Thank of Con, Estate Jewelers, Tabina, we appreciate you. Friend of the stream here. We I always I appreciate you joining us. Thank Ed, you. we have got a beautiful diamond ring yeah. for not you, but the for I've the missus. No, little, that little, little, that, little, that, little uh, that little brooch you had the there. The brooch there. is oh, nice, yeah, too. Yeah, well, yeah, we yeah. talked yeah. about the goats for Nurses Week. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little goat, so maybe <laughs> I'm going to have for my wife. How uh -huh. much is that again? 
Uh, just 14,000. Fourteen, right, 14, we'll, we'll give you a discount. We'll give it to you, <laughs> we'll give it to you for 139. Absolutely. Even less. Come on. Once going twice. <laughs> Take it away, Ed. I love it. Yeah, you got to give me a golden cicada to put. Uh, that's a, that'll be appropriate.